Vandana Shiva is a physicist renowned for winning the Right Livelihood Award, also known as the Alternative Nobel Prize. Over 20 years ago, she founded Navdanya, an environmental center. Navdanya means new seeds, a reference to the botanical diversity of India, a diversity that's now in danger. We have advertisements of seed companies that say, become a millionaire. Everywhere where farmers have gone into this dream of becoming millionaires, they've gone into debt, they've taken the same pesticides that have led them into debt, the same seeds, and they consume those pesticides to kill themselves. Farmers from all over India come to Vandana Shiva's seminars. They're taught how to work their land using traditional seeds and no chemicals. In the short term, this means more work and less profit. But in the long term, it means they can become self-sufficient. Farmers from a town in the foothills of the Himalayas have been cultivating their land according to the principles they learned at Navdanya. The mayor was surprised at the size of the harvest, although it took patience. It can take three years before the results are satisfactory. Now a type of rice that can survive on early morning dew once again thrives at more than 2,000 meters. It's a unique type. Rice usually only grows at lower altitudes. Farmers received their first seeds free of charge from Navdanya. These farmers also receive the type of rice that best suits their countryside. Common varieties would exhaust the land, making it infertile. It's only thanks to Vandana Shiva's work that these varieties still exist. She collects seeds from all over the country. 360 types of rice are now stored in Navdanya's archives. The ecological implications, the political implications, the social and cultural implications of not recognizing and respecting the value of biodiversity are huge. We need to bring back biodiversity because without it the web of life cannot be maintained. Vandana Shiva hopes to convince even more farmers to cultivate their land in environmentally friendly ways to benefit both people and nature.